Good evening everybody, it's NCP. It's been a while since I've been in a video because I've been very, very busy with all these things my wife has instructed me that need to be done now. But, <clears throat> I wanted to point something out or make it available or knowledge to you guys that um, I found actual IR night vision um, for about under 150 bucks. It's like 140 or something. Now this has got seven... Uh, seven times zoom on it and then two times digital so you can't use it to walk around your house but it is binoculars so I've seen you know deer deer's eyes light up in this thing it doesn't really go well through windows but you know I was I was looking at some real night vision and um, I was thinking this versus the real expensive ones the the real ones that are passive this says a has to have a light or built-in light but um <clears throat> my understanding is if someone like turns on a car headlights or something it can damage the tube well this is digital so it's kind of like a camera uh, it's got a big screen in there so it's pretty good um, I went ahead and got a an IR flashlight for it which I can't see that but I can see it in the camera it goes from adjustable to spot all this stuff is about 150 bucks, and then when I got either this one or this one, they gave me this. Um, and this thing's like 1,200 lumens, so it's it's real bright, and it's got a um, you know what you call it, flash on it, which I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's giving me seizures. And then it does a uh, SOS and uh, other things, but yeah, so. So it wasn't a bad deal for about 150 bucks. Um, I really don't have much to say. Uh, like I said, I've only got it last night. And uh, I tried to do a demo of it tonight out there for you guys. But I was viciously attacked by mosquitoes. So maybe IR light or infrared light causes uh, or calls uh, mosquitoes. I don't know. But you can mount this to a helmet if you want. I don't. But or tri that's tripod. Uh, the helmet mount is up here, I believe. Which, I don't know why you'd do that, because it's zoomed. You can't really walk around. It's like walking around through binoculars, because it is binoculars. Now, in a couple months, they're coming out with ones that are one-to-one -one view. So you can walk around your house at night with those, if you had to do things. I got this uh, so I could just see outside what's going on, if something goes bump in the night, without getting, you know, in, in you know melee combat range. Um, I'm going to order some big outdoor floodlights that are infrared. And those will aid my cameras. But this, this little tiny, I think it's a 7 watt flashlight. It, um, it just almost floods my cameras out. It's just so bright out there. It's like daylight. So, I think passive IR might be the way for me to go. But you guys might want to do something different. But I'll put a link to this below on Amazon. I said it's about 150 bucks, And it's actual night vision. And it has, like I said, it has the, the IR, uh, comes out this side here. Infrared comes up there, and it's got a big screen. It's pretty clear. It's just you have to adjust like regular binoculars. Uh, during the day, it is just regular digital binoculars. Uh, you can pull this off and actually do uh, night vision with it. Um, another thing is, I don't have it in there right now, but there is a digital slot. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right there, where you can put an SD card and um, micro SD or I think it's micro SD. Yeah, micro SD, and you can do uh, pictures with it. I don't know if it can do video, but I think so. Um, if I turn it on. There. You can't see nothing here. It's all zoomed out. But it's pretty big when it's up to your face. That's all I'll say about that. It's, you know, it's good. Um, this video is really unscripted and unprompted. And I just want to put a video out. <laughs> but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, and staying safe. But I, if you want cheap night vision, now this isn't this isn't super quality, but like I said, the deer, when it hit his eyes, it just reflected back like reflectors. It's very bright. I might have even missed the deer at first, and then I could zoom in on it and see what it was. But they were just bouncing eyes out there um, from the infrared. So there you go, guys. Just a real quick video, just keep my my channel active. Um, like I said, I've been really busy. I've uh, been doing things, going around. Not really traveling much, but 
you know, we're trying to shop and stay ahead of all the stuff here. But that's about it. And um, just trying to, uh, you know, arrange things. They have trees cut down and stuff that are a threat to the house, pretty much. So we're going to have, well, not, no, they're not a threat now, but the next hurricane they might be. Um, and they've gone through Category 5, so who knows. But I wouldn't have gone anyway, especially a gum tree, because it drops little gumballs, the little spike gumball things, which are pretty much nature's Legos, so you can't walk out there barefoot. So we're going to get that taken care of. Uh, I believe this week I'm on schedule to have it taken care of. And uh, another one leaning over the carport, we're going to have that all cut down and trimmed back. So that's what's going on right now. Um, everything's good here. Everybody's healthy. Um, <clears throat> I'm just ecstatic that I can eat food and not throw it up. <laughs> now that my surgery's done for my, um, oh God, what did I have? Um, Ecclesia. So I'm glad that's all done. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. Everything went as good as it could. Um, that's pretty much what's going on. And uh, just practicing my welding when I get down there, I get a chance to do that. And, and you really, I'm getting better, a lot, a lot better, you know. If you want to get good at something, make something crappy. And then next time, make something a little better. And keep going until you're good. So, that's what's up. I uh, hope everybody stays safe. This is NCP. Uh, you guys just have a great day. Thanks.